Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is SSL TLS handshake protocol and how it works. Secure socket layer SSL and its newer version transport layer security TLS are cryptographic protocols that provide security on the internet. Up to today in 2018, SSL version 3.0 is the version most web servers and browsers support. TLS version 1.1 and version 1.2 are more secure versions. The handshake protocol is basically used between a web client and a web server to establish trust and they negotiate what a secret key should be used to encrypt and decrypt the conversation. With the protocol in place, an eavesdropper can only see the connection endpoints but cannot read or modify any of the actual data. Thus, it can protect users' personal data and ensure a safe transaction. Many people are asking on what layer of OSI model does the protocol operate? Some people say it is on the uh, application layer because it's just HTTP over secure sockets layer and some people say it is a presentation layer because encryption and decryption operate on this layer. But some argue it's on session layer because the protocol provides point-to-point -point session security. It is indeed a gray area and each argument is valid. The OSI model is not a science and is only a guideline. The handshake protocol is involved with the top three layers OSI model and if we use TCP IP model we can simply say the protocol belongs to the application layer. Here is the process how a client and a server uses a handshake protocol to negotiate how to securely exchange data. Step 1. The client sends client hello message that lists information such as SSL, TLL, TLS version and the cryptographic algorithms and the data compression methods supported by the client. Step 2. Server responds with server hello message that contains the cryptographic algorithms chosen by the server from the list provided by the client. The session ID. The server also sends is a digital certificate and it is a public key. Step 3. The client will contact the server's CA and verify the server's digital certificate thus confirming the authenticity of the web server. Step 3 is basically establishing trust on the web server. Once the client trusts the web server, it will take step 4, client key exchange. With this step, the client sends a shared secret key to be used in the following conversation. The secret key is encrypted with the server's public key. Step 5. The client sends a finished message which is encrypted with a secret key indicating the client part of the handshake is complete. Step 6. The server responds to the client with a finished message which is encrypted with the secret key indicating the server part of a handshake is complete. Once this handshake is done, the server and client can now exchange messages that are symmetrically encrypted with the shared secret key. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.